assigning with experience. I really hope people don't try and moan about this signing too much if that's the case. Well, signing number five of the summer window, Bradley Dack has arrived at Sunderland. This advanced pretty quickly because I was out with friends earlier today, basically Thursday, July 27th as I'm recording this. Um, and yeah, it, it, it looked apparent then that Bradley Dack was advanced pretty quickly. So um, yeah, it's done. We have a player with experience. Um, fingers crossed again. So if people are saying we want more experience, well, we've got a player with experience. So I'm hoping that we don't try and find loads of holes in it. But um, I suppose if you want to bring up the injury problem, it is a bit of a concern. But let's quickly read the statement and get it done with. Sunderland AFC is delighted to announce the signing of Bradley Dack. The attacking midfielder arrives on Wearside following a six-year spell at Blackburn Rovers, signing an initial one-year deal with a club option of an additional year. Dak made 700, sorry, 700, wish, 173 appearances during his time at Ewood Park, including 33 last season, and he scored 57 goals and contributed 34 assists. Prior to joining Rovers, the 29-year-old progressed through Gillingham's youth ranks before registering 38 goals and 34 assists in 185 appearances for the Kent-based club. Dak's decade-long association with the Jills included, also included a brief loan spell at Braintree Town, with the midfielder returning to Priestfield Stadium to be a key part of the club's 2012-13 promotion-winning side. As a two-time EFL League One Player of the Year and PFA League One Player of the Year, he was also named in Blackburn's Player of the Year, named Blackburn's Player of the Year, sorry, after firing the club's promotion in the championship to the championship alongside Tony Mowbray in 2017-18. <clears throat> Here we get to the quotes. <clears throat> After arriving on Wearside, Dak said, It feels brilliant to be here. It's clear to see the club is on an upward trajectory and it's great to be on board. To play in front of 40,000 people every week at the Stadium of Light was a huge pull for me. There's not many teams in England that can produce those numbers. I hope my experience and style of play can add something different to the group and I can't wait to pull on the shirt for the first time. Sporting Director Christian Speakman added, We are delighted to welcome Bradley to Sunderland AFC. He is an attacking midfielder with different qualities to others we have within the squad, and we feel he can add a different dimension to our team. Here's the key bit. He brings a wealth of experience, but also has a personality that can help us on and off the field. It's great to welcome him to the club, to see him so excited by the opportunity this move represents. So, yes, Bradley Dack arriving. Now, saying that, look, I, I completely get why... Sorry, I'm trying to click through here again. Um, I completely understand why people say we need more experience. I'm personally, again, I've said loads of times, I'm not as big on the belief that we need as much experience as people think we do. But for a one-year free contract, we can't do much wrong here, I think, because if he ends up not being very good, then we've only, we've only committed a year's worth of wages to him. Um, and if he is any good, then we've got an option to extend his contract by another year. Let's make one thing clear. Like, Tony Mowbray's obviously been heavily influenced in this signing, I think. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it does make me wonder, though, are we going to see the last of Pritchard with Dak coming in? I don't know. There might be something in that. But as far as Dak's concerned, look, the biggest thing, apparently, is that he's had two big injuries, similar to Ross Stewart, funnily enough. Um, and it's a question of how can he recover from them? Because as we know, well, injuries can kill players in terms of momentum, in terms of their career and all that good stuff. But for me, Bradley Dak, I think for a one-year deal, for a free transfer, if anyone's going to get the best out of him, it's Tony Mowbray, I suppose. Um, yeah, for free. Fair enough, worth a shot, and we'll see if he's any good. Um, and look, obviously, don't get me wrong, I, I did say that I don't mind having experienced players. It's just got to be the right type of deal. Um, there were reports today, apparently, Bradley, uh, Dak's wages were apparently a concern, which I find that hard to believe, considering he's been having a bit of a troubled time with injuries. But clearly not that much of a concern then, because he signed for us. So there you have it. But what do you guys, Blackburn fans, if there's any watching this, what do you think of this signing? Um, and yep, some of the fans, let me know in the comments below. Again, all comments have to be respectful, please. But um, for me, not a bad signing. For free, could do a lot worse. And we will see how he gets on. But now that Mowbray's here, nah, you know, we've got nothing to lose with this signing, I think. The one thing I would quick say, I don't want this to be Ahmad's replacement. I'm hoping that's not the case. Then I could understand people being concerned if that if this is his replacement. Um, but we'll see with that. Again, I've said this a lot, but we'll see how it ends up going. Anyway, guys. As you guys know, if, you, if you're new to the channel and watch and haven't subscribed, nearly half of the people who watch, according to my analytics, are not subscribed to this channel. 
and I want to try and get to 5,000 subscribers. So if you're watching, you aren't subscribed, and you think I've earned a subscription from you, then please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe. And yeah, we'll see you all next time, I suppose. Although there might be more signings coming in the near future than we probably previously anticipated. Take care, guys. Love you all lots. How are the lads? And stay safe as always.